Hi, Dennis. Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not with you this year, although your membership may say, God, he's been with us almost every year. Thank God he's not here this year. But uh, I really wish I were there, Dennis. Congratulate you on a remarkable career and the remarkable leadership you've shown. And uh, I, I just want to thank you for everything you've done as a teacher, an activist, a powerful voice for children and for public education all these years. I also wish I were there uh, to uh, wish your mom a belated happy birthday. I've had the honor of speaking with your mom in person and on the phone, and at 100 years young, I know she's proud of you as I am, probably a heck of a lot more proud of you. 100 years old, mom, happy birthday. Dennis, you've done an incredible job leading this proud organization, which my wife was a member. You've improved the quality of our students' learning. You've raised the bar for new teachers entering the profession. You've ensured that voices of educators are at the forefront of the public debate about the need for greater investment in education. And maybe most of all, you've understood that in order for the voice of educators to be taken seriously. There needs to be an organizational structure, a strong union movement backing them. That's, uh, that's, uh, um, uh, but in spite of the efforts of these voices on the other side that have been relentless in their effort to marginalize unions across the board. You've been in the thick of it uh, as state slash education spending, trying to gut the rights to bargain collectively and and in the meantime, place the blame for budget shortfall squarely on educators who, in fact, had nothing to do with the shortfall. Uh, the truth is, you've been a powerful voice, Dennis, and you've helped us make our case, those of us who think that unions are important and that teachers are critical. And it hadn't been easy, but, uh, but you've always kept the faith. Dennis, my wife, like you and everyone listening to this, uh, have something stamped in your DNA, all you educators, and that's the belief that every single child has potential, and that these children are not someone else's children. They are our children. They are all of our children. They are the kite strings that lift our national ambitions aloft, and no one understands that better than teachers. No one understands that better than the NEA. That's who you've been fighting for each and every day, our children. You understand if we let them down, we let the country down, and in the process, diminish the possibilities that exist for a fuller, better, more prosperous life here in America. Dennis, you understand this all in your gut, and you also understand in your gut what Yates gave voice to when he wrote, education is not about filling a bucket. It's about lighting a fire. And I have no doubt, Dennis, that despite your retirement, you're still going to be focused on lighting fires in the hearts and the guts of every young man and woman in this country. So keep it up, old buddy. And again, congratulations. And mom, happy 100th birthday. God bless you all, and may God uh, give our teachers the strength and the perseverance to do what they so deeply want to do, educate our children.